Hi friends, I know I look a little bit raggedy. We were outside and it's it's infernal heat out there with humidity. Ugh. Well, we were on our way to a yard sale here in Fayetteville because I'm trying to go to mow yard and garage sales like Jean E. I don't know if you follow her channel, but she has some fantastic yard sales and I'm always envious of the wonderful stuff she finds. Beautiful stuff. And she's just so much fun to listen to. Love her channel. So stop by and check her out. But so I thought we'd try one and we went to one and as we pulled up and parked, we were about 20 minutes early and it just kind of looked just kind of junky, trashy, kind of like here, you buy this and throw it away. So as we were sitting there and I'm like, well, we're already here. We'll just go. I decided to pull up Facebook and dink around to kill time. And so one of our favorite little antique shops, it was a little cottage outside of Fuquay Verena near Lillington, this lady had a little cottage that she rented and had antiques in and I loved her shop and she was the most wonderful, sweetest lady. And then the rent got too high so she moved to downtown Fuquay and had a shop there and put some money into making the shop nice and did some business there but it just, things in her personal life had some illnesses and different things come up that she wasn't able to just stay in business. Well, over the past year, unfortunately, um, her in-laws both passed away and her husband was offered a job in Florida. So she is selling a lot of her inventory at a garage sale this morning and she posted it late last night without kind of any notice, which worked for our benefit because when I saw the post come up from her shop, I was like, oh my gosh, she has the best stuff. Love her stuff. So we went there and were able to get an amazing haul and I will be sharing that with you. Um, still haven't decided, whoops, sorry if I'm a little crooked there. Lexi may decide that she'd be friendly with me. Um, it's not very often she acts like a cat. Most of the time she acts like not a cat. So I am getting ready to show you the haul and we'll see what goes into the shop and what I keep for myself. Well, there's the Maminator being all cat-like. Anyway, this is one of the things we got at the sale. I know it shows if I was more ambitious, I would strip this, but I'm not. So, and I need to work on seeing if I can get this glass a little bit cleaner, but look at this table. I love it. I can put some books down there. Um, trying to figure out what to put in here. Books, um, Aunt Penny suggested some books and maybe a shallow bowl or tray with some of my favorite spoons. So, and it's going to go where this one was. And this one's going to go into my husband's photography studio. That was actually my grandpa's table. So we want to keep it. And so I'll be doing some arranging. But that's one of the finds we got at the sale. All right, friends, are you ready for the haul of this garage sale? It was honestly, she was getting rid of vintage and antique items because she's moving. And but selling them at garage sale prices, it was incredible. You saw the table, $10, couldn't believe it. My husband also, I don't know if I mentioned it, picked up a Dyson for $10, so pretty amazing. But now the rest of the fun stuff. So let's start with, so I got a little coin purse. I love these old coin purses. Um, I already have one in one of my purses, but I might use this in another one. Then I bought this, and I know it's a collar for your shirt, but I thought it also would be kind of cool if you could put it on a table and if the lamp base would fit in the center, so it'd almost make like a doily for your lamp. So I thought that was pretty cool, and I do believe that's going in my shop. Then I like to collect old handkerchiefs, things to do with them. I've made a quilt, and who knows what I'll do, but as long as they're cheap, I'll keep collecting them. So there's that one. And then I got this old doily. I love the staining on it and how vintage it looks. So I'll be keeping that one. But this one is going to go in my shop. Look at the detailing, so pretty. So that will be in my shop as well. Then I found these two, like, I do you wanna call them Gibson girls? Um, they're reproductions of 1909, but I don't care because they're really pretty. So there's this one, and I'm going to hang this one in my guest room. And then there's this one I'm giving to my daughter for her gallery wall. So there's that. Then I also found old vintage 
flower sifter. It says Bromwell's on it. So that will be in my shop. If you're into some of the old utensils, I love those. Aunt Penny's got me hooked on them. Then I found some, found a bunch of silverware. She had one whole bag of silverware. So there's this fork. And that's going, I've got some places I'm already going to put it. And this, I don't know what this is. If anyone has an idea, because I have this one, and then I also have the gold one. This one's going in my shop. But what are these? These are such weird shaped spoons. What are they for? And then I got this. So it's a butter knife. But look, at it's this is the handle, but the shape. Isn't that cool? And it's W.H. Rogers and Son. So I'm going to keep that one since I do love my tarnished silverware. And then I found another one that is marked W.H. Rogers, too. And look at the detailing on that. I love the old spoons. And then there's a set of one, two, three. There's six. And they're bicentennial spoons because it says bicentennial 1776 to 1976 international. So it's I have six states. And then at the top of the spoon, it has the year the state became a state. And then down the handle, it says the name of the state. And then on the bottom of the bowl of the spoon, it has an emblem. So we have this one is Massachusetts. And I'm going to put that one in my shop. So if you're from Massachusetts or a Massachusetts lover, you could collect that. Then we have this one that's Delaware. So I think they're so neat. And then this one is Maryland. Look at the detailing. So pretty. And then we have New Jersey. And then the last spoon that's going in my shop is Virginia. And then I am keeping Rhode Island, which never been there. But the reason I want to keep it is because I like the emblem of the anchor in the bowl because my husband served in the Navy. So I want to keep it because of that. And I just noticed on the back of the handle of the spoon, they also have the flag with the 13 stars and 50 stars for the bicentennial. Isn't that cool? So that's pretty cool. Then I got some vintage utensils. I've never seen this, but when I looked it up online, it said it was a type of whisk. So I thought that was interesting. And then I have this ladle with the old wood, and it says in the bowl, Genuine stainless steel throughout, made in the United States of America, AJ. So isn't that cool? And then I got this one, which is also an AJ. So these AJ ones, these are from like the 1940s. I love the red handle. And then this one, I'm not sure, it doesn't really have markings, but it's obviously been around the block, and I love it, too. So I'm going to keep those and figure out a way to display them with my my Hoosier. But this one, it said it was a ricer or a juicer on Google. So this is going to go in my shop. So it's got some wear and tear on it. It's kind of cool. And then I have a set of five knives. And... On them, they say W.H. Rogers Stainless. So I'm going to put these in my shop. I thought they had a nice pattern on them. And then this isn't very old, but says Stainless Korea. I'm assuming it's a type of tomato spoon or something or just a regular serving spoon. I'm going to guess from the 70s because it reminds me of that mid-century modern. So I'll probably put that in my shop. And, of course, showed you this one for my shop. This one I'm not going to put in my shop because I know it's not old. It says stainless steel um, fiberware china, but I'm going to keep it because it's a nice handy dandy cake server so or pie server. Then I bought, so if you don't know what this is, and it's marked on it, Nippon Hain Painted, so this is Japan. Isn't it beautiful? But it's a mayonnaise bowl, and there's the mark. But I have one, and I just think they're so beautiful. So I'm going to keep that because it's so lovely. But this is going in my shop, and it's marked um, 
Not sure. There's the marking. But it's a lovely gravy boat. So I'm going to put this in my shop. I've seen some with the gravy boats where they put, like, if you had small little books or um, you could put flowers in there. I think they're really beautiful in the shape of it. It'd be nice in a bathroom to put some decorative soaps. So, and then this is a frame and it's Dresden, Germany, but you can see it's missing its backing. So part of me is like, well, I could frame something, but then part of me kind of likes that there isn't a back and it's just the frame. So I might get some Velcro and just put it on the wall just like this. Because it's look at the detailing. It's so beautiful. Then I got this, and Aunt Penny promptly bought it. So it is a 1950s Santa tree topper. So it sits on the top of your tree. Back is a type of metal. And he's a little bit flocked, but isn't he so cute? When I didn't, when I got him, I was like, I don't know what he is, but he's cool. And I know he's old. But when I did Google, that's how I found out he's a 1950s tree topper. So how fun is that? And then I have this little, and I think it said it was Fostoria. So I'm giving this to my daughter Haley because she loves the color pink. So she could put some dried things or just leave it like this. It'd go well with her boho decor. Then this is going in my shop. It needs, I need to get out one of my paint brushes and kind of clean the details because look at the detailing of those flowers. They're so beautiful. And it doesn't have a mark on it, but it's a lovely little trinket box. So I'm going to put that in my shop. I think it's very beautiful. Then I got this because I'm on a hunt to collect some different glasses. I like as much, I like mix match and I like a lot of different things. And I love Hobby Lobby and the fact that it's Christmas and Hobby Lobby with a kitty. And it says Christmas is the nicest time of all. And I get it's Coca-Cola, so it's probably, and it says American greetings. So, but I don't care. I just love that it's Holly Hobby with the kitty cat. So I'll be washing that up so I can drink out of it any time of year. I don't care. Then I got this, and it's marked on the bottom, Germany. But look at the detailing. The little flowers, and it's porcelain or china. And I'm going to put this in my shop because I just thought it was so sweet. There's something kind of almost Bridgerton that it reminds me of. And then I got this little teacup and saucer, and they're marked on the bottom, SK, SGK China. Hand painted occupied Japan. So look at that. And you can totally see through them because it's so delicate. So I will keep that because I just think it's so beautiful with all the detailing and the hand painted and the fact that it's occupied Japan. I thought it's pretty cool. So that's a short time frame after World War II that it was occupied Japan. So I just. And even the stamp, look at the bottom stamp, it's just beautiful. So keep that. Then this is going in my shop. In the bottom, it's marked Germany. So there's a creamer. And it does have the little gold detailing. And there's the back side. And then you have the sugar with the lid. I guess that's the back because there's the front where it's more ornate. But so beautiful. And then there's your... Germany mark on the bottom. So I'm going to put that one in my shop. Then I got this. I don't collect salt and peppers, but I did like these. And they say Napco Ware imported Japan, but that's a turkey and his bride. Because you usually see the turkeys. I actually have a set that's two turkeys, but this is a turkey, the male and female, and I love this. And since I love to decorate for Thanksgiving, it will be perfect. And then the last thing I got it's also for myself, but it's Portland Ridgeway Ironstone made in England. So there's the pattern of the saucer and the teacup. It does have a little nick right there, but I don't care. And it kind of reminds me, if you're a Bridgerton person, of the pattern of their cups. It's not exactly, but it reminds me a lot of it. And I do love the detailing. I think it's very beautiful. So that is my garage sale haul. I feel, I feel very blessed. It makes me think, you know, like Jean, when I watch Jean E's videos and see all the wonderful stuff she gets for how cheap. We got all of this stuff and the table and the Dyson. And it was, she was only going to charge us 30, but we ended up giving her 40 
just because we didn't want to break a 20 and we liked her. She's our friend. And, you know, obviously the stuff's way more than that anyway. So it was such a blessing. And I feel like it's just a blessing from sweet blessing from God. So a lot of this stuff will be in my shop and a lot of it will be in my home. So that is the haul. And, um, yeah, I don't know if there's going to be any decorate with me. I guess there should be because I should show you. I did decorate the table and I can hang up my Gibson girl. And I think that's all we've got so far. So stay tuned. We'll put some stuff together and style it. How about that? Bye for the moment. So where to show you where I decorated? I added my mayonnaise bowl right there on my new on my not my new but it's new to me and then add it here with my dining vignette and then i put that frame up there and i decided to leave it blank and maybe at an estate sale i'll find a teeny tiny little frame that can fit in the center because that would be kind of fun but i like how it looks I wanted to show you where I put my Gibson girl. There she is, joined my gallery wall. I figured since I had other girl pictures, she would look good there. And I love that it's a hodgepodge of all kinds of stuff. And the two little plates on the gallery, or three plates in the gallery wall are similar to these. That was a set of five I got off eBay, so I thought the other two would look good in here. And then I have itty bitty picture of a puppy and a cat some art cut out and all you need in life is a friend who has chocolate isn't that the truth so just added it to the gallery wall in here coming along this is our guest room and i love it there's mr lenny and i decorated my table i put some of my quilts down there and that's one of my vintage quilts yes are you mad because i'm not sitting down you'll have to wait that's one of my quilts i got in an estate sale and then filled it hopefully the glare won't be too bad you're going to get the reflection but anyway there's i don't know if there's a way to film it with the glass in the top but it'll be fun to change out for seasonal decor maybe i can go from this direction so I put, those are children's gloves from an estate sale, an old book, and those pins are my mom's pins. Yes, and then another pin, and there's the little coin bag, and an old bell, and then a bunch of spoons, including my new spoons. So, I love that it's got this round shape, and it's just a lot of fun, and I don't want to put a lot of stuff on top of it, because I want to be able to see the display. But, so, there you go. That's my decor for now. Thanks for joining me. And until next time, bye, friends.